Hello, this is Franklin McMahon, MediaArtist.com, and right now we're going to go over Adobe Illustrator CS2 and Live Paint. Very exciting new feature. I know you want to hear about it, so let's jump right into it. We have a couple um, shapes. I don't know about that color. I don't know who picked that color up. But anyway, um, traditionally in a vector program, you might have created or painted similar to this in that you just selected that and boom selected an object and just selected a color. Um, I mean that's one way to do it. It's pretty easy with these shapes. Uh, you might have also selected them both and you know selected a color like so. Let me select them both. Um, pretty easy but you know what if you want to interact with the two with a group of objects and you want to kind of get into different parts of the objects as far as coloring them. Let me slide this back a little, and we're actually going to group these again. And right here, we're going to go to the Live Paint Bucket tool and click on that. Um, and we're going to select the color yellow. Now you can see a couple things happening. I'm only interacting with the section I want, and Illustrator is actually snapping to the various sections. So we can just select different colors and as I'm selecting different colors you notice that you know everything's not changing like could be the case with a different mode like we were just doing so uh, there you go you can kind of pick and select and go totally crazy let's make this red um, if you want to do like a blue I'm gonna actually drag this across and do all the blues which is pretty cool now if you want to ch change some of the settings here, you can just double click on there. And I don't have paint strokes on, I'm going to turn on right now, and I'm actually going to change this to black. So, and I'm going to bring this down slightly. So now you can see it a little clearer, and you can also, if I get right in there, yep, you'll see that I can change the stroke now just by clicking on it. And again, we're, we're just looking at sections and we're just painting sections, which is um, it's pretty cool. So we're going to switch to a, a slightly more complex example, not, not too crazy, but let's go down to this picture of Katrina that I took. Um, in the other tutorial, we went through the live trace, and we're going to do that right now just to kind of get things rocking and rolling here. Okay, so we diminished the colors. Um, now, normally this would be kind of tough to kind of do. Um, I'm going to switch back, and I'm going to go back to red, and I'm not going to do paint strokes. Now, say I wanted to change this background to a solid color. Let's say green, just to have a contrasting color. I could just click right in there, and you'll notice that a lot of the smaller parts which normally would be tough to do, you'd have to really zoom in. That's the kind of the old school. This is the new school. The old school is you'd zoom in and do a lot of detail work. And it was really kind of tedious. And this just makes it a lot easier because it automatically is selecting where I need to go. In fact, I'm going to make it slightly more easier. And I'm going to diminish this. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Actually, I going to change this to black again just to make it uh, just a little bit easier to see and we're going to do a different color let's actually do let's do red so click now I'm not zoomed in at all I of course I could zoom in if I wanted to and boom I'm actually going to make this even smaller I know call me crazy there we go. So normally, you would have to really do a lot of detail work, but I'm totally zoomed out. I'm actually going to zoom in to show you what's happening here. And go back to, there you go. So very easy. A lot of the previous way of doing this was very trial and error. You had to kind of click, and then you might suddenly erase her whole face or something. Let me get right in there. And again, you can go as close as you want and the program very smart snaps right to it. I'm gonna color that right in. 
back up just a hair there. So again, there's some more yellow parts I can get to, but I, like most of the new features in CS2, you know, doing this used to take a long time, and now CS2 has made it much, much easier. And the Live Paint program allows you to interact with different sections if you're doing geometry or basic shapes. But if you're doing detail work like a photo that has been transferred to vector art, you can now click, 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 and boom, fill in you know, the areas really quickly without having to get into a lot of detail and zooming and unzooming, which, you know, if you've done vector stuff, you know about zooming and unzooming and detail work. But the program actually does it really smart now and gives you very good results very quickly.